Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we can deploy a Angular app into a GitHub uh, repository or uh, like a GitHub pages. In the past video, we have seen how we can deploy or host a static HTML page in GitHub uh, pages. So in this video, we are going to create a Angular application with the help of Angular CLI and we are going to push it to a GitHub and we will be deploying that Angular application into GitHub pages with a free of uh, uh, cost. So basically, we are going to deploy a Angular app uh, in the uh, next uh, five to 10 minutes. Let's get started. So for that, I'll just create a GitHub repository here. So I'll put, name it as, maybe I'll name it as Angular Hosting Demo. So let's create a repository. So repository all created, I'm going to copy this URL and in my local box, I'm going to clone the repository. Okay. Okay, the repository got cloned. Inside this, I'm going to just uh, use Angular CLA ng new and uh, my application will be like, will give the same name Basically, basically it will create extra folder. We can cut and copy, copy paste that uh, information. I will put the same name: Angular iPhone hosting iPhone demo. If we still maintain the same uh, folder within the folder, we need to map that uh, during when we are deploying. We will uh, see it how we can handle it. So uh, it's getting created. So it's basically installing all the packages, basic needs mentioned in the package.json and uh, creating those files. In the meantime, we can go and see the files available here. So just uh, created the files from the uh, CLA, Angular CLA. So I have another uh, thing, so I'll just close it. So it will take a, a few seconds. Uh, so basically we will go through the documentation here so they have mentioned a quick step we can just uh, jump start to a quick start like um, we need to install the angular CLA first so i already have it so i just uh, left it and we are creating a new application using angular CLA command ng new and our application name and we need to traverse to that particular project and we need to add uh, the remote origin of our uh, GitHub repository. So basically I will just uh, copy paste the uh, folders uh, to outside this thing once the install package has been completed. What they have suggested like uh, inside this folder we need to initialize our GitHub uh, repository. It's uh, similar to uh, the process. I will just copy or uh, cut the files and put it here. Still uh, it does the same operation. And next step, uh, we need to add a package like um, ng add Angular CLA GS pages. GS pages means uh, GitHub pages. It will create uh, the related uh, branches and the source codes. After that, we need to do ng deploy. So what this ng space deploy will do is like uh, it will build the solution uh, in local and push it to the GitHub pages branch in, in the GitHub uh, repository we create. You will see it eventually. So now uh, the file got uh, created. After that, the packages also got installed. As the next step, uh, what I will do is like, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I will just cut this thing and put it in the root folder itself so that we don't have to traverse more than once with the same name. I'll just delete the empty folder. So we'll just uh, commit this change. Okay, we can do it uh, uh, together. Once we added the ng add Angular CLI thing. So now we are adding the Angular CLA uh, GitHub pages component uh, into it. So it, it is also having some uh, dependencies. It is installing the packages basically. So if you want, we can even open in a uh, code, VS code, but that's not needed because uh, the aim of this uh, demo is to like uh, show the deployment uh, process only. So we will do it. Maybe in some other videos, uh, we will see in detail like uh, what it will do. So we did update the angular.json file. And now uh, we will push the code to 
remote also. I'll just resize this. Okay. So I just added all the files and I'm going to commit some message. We will put it as first commit. And I'm pushing to the uh, remote uh, branch. Okay. It will be quick, fast. Uh, we can post. We'll just go here and uh, refresh this thing. Okay, the file uh, available here. So you could be able to see like uh, we have only one branch here, master branch. So next step is, so we did uh, like uh, created the application and added uh, Angular CLI, GS pages. And we need to say Angular deploy. Basically, I have uh, this uh, all the codes in the root folder itself. So I can directly give it as a ng deploy. So few things needs to be noted here. When we give ng deploy, what it will do is like a, it will build the sources and push to uh, this uh, GitHub uh, repository. Basically, the URL will be like a, like this username of my GitHub account dot GitHub by slash our repository name. Since uh, we have a repository name here, we need to set the base href uh, value here like this base href value. So we need to pass that as a parameter. So I'll pass it as base iPhone hashref equal to our uh, repository name angular iPhone hosting iPhone demo. Basically, what it will do is like it will create entry in our uh, index.html file that base hashref is this, and you need to look for the files inside this uh, folder. We'll just uh, give an enter and see what it is happening. So it is uh, basically building the application now. As you could see, like uh, the configuration is production configuration and for a uh, production uh, enrollment uh, in the Anglo settings. And it is setting the base hash of Angular iPhone hosting iPhone demo. And it will compile the sources and uh, we will see the compiled files name also at the end of this uh, process. We can wait for a few seconds. So as I told earlier, uh, our GitHub repository has having only master branch as of now. After completing this process, uh, it will inject uh, like um, it will send the code to a uh, new branch called a gh-pages. It will create the uh, branch if it doesn't exist and it will push the uh, uh, deployed like a uh, compiled code uh, into that. So basically uh, that folder will act as a like a path for uh, files to be looked in whenever someone hits that uh, URL. So basically it was like a hosting uh, file manager kind of uh, you can uh, simply uh, remember like that. So it is uh, building, building, building. So we can see it, it, it just completed the build. So it had created a few files, runtime ESR 2015, some polyfills, some main files and style files. So these are like the files that has been compiled and created. And uh, we can see the message like uploading via Git and successfully published at uh, GitHub iPhone, CLI iPhone, GitHub pages have a nice day. So basically it uh, created a branches here and uh, push the uh, source, we will just uh, refresh the page. Magic, we are seeing a GF, GH hyphen pages, which is a GitHub bar pages. If we travel to that uh, particular branch, we could see the files here, index files and some other JS files and some fav icon uh, other than this. So we passed base href in the argument writer so we can see where it is placed. So if you go to this index.html file in the GitHub, you could see uh, a value called a base hashref. Base hashref equal to Angular iPhone uh, hosting iPhone demo. So okay, let's uh, go get back to our uh, repository now. You know, we don't have to like uh, stay in this uh, thing. We can go to the master branch. So 
it's showing uh, it's got a uh, deployed uh, uh, somewhere so how can i access it you just go to the settings page and you just uh, scroll down till the end you'll see a section called github pages and here it will show the details like the sources present uh, in this particular branch and the role folder is uh, served as a website and the url is this so if you open this url in new tab it showed the angular application here even we didn't uh, uh, like uh, provide any uh, inputs at the runtime all we had did is like uh, mentioned this is our uh, base href so this base href will uh, say mentioned earlier right will have the information in the header and all the files is uh, loaded uh, from this url so basically it's like username dot github dot io slash repository name or the the base hash name slash the js files so those were the things uh, i have today like uh, we just try out these things uh, and if you have any uh, if you faced any issues or uh, problems uh, uh, leave your feedbacks and uh, uh, doubts in the comment section below i will reply uh, to all the things so keep supporting thanks for watching uh, make sure you subscribe so that uh, you will receive all the future videos we will be uploading